Today, Mojang released Snapshot 23W16A. It's a decent sized snapshot and it contains some changes to the trail room structure. Before we start, be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified whenever a new snapshot drops. Let's continue with the video. Pottery shards are now called pottery shirts, which is the correct name used by archaeologists for shards they find at a dig site. They've changed the Minecraft Java Edition logo to look like this once you launch it in a snapshot version. It will now be a dirt block and once a full release is out and you load it, it will be a grass block. So they've got rid of the crafting table that it used to be. If a vibration is scheduled to be received by a skulk sensor or skulk shrieker, they will stay queued until all adjacent chunks are loaded and ticking. This prevents vibration resonance setups from breaking when unloading their chunks from a distance. Sniffers can now be tempted using torch flower seeds. And then finally they have updated the trail ruin structure, but like this you can't really see it, so we'll go into another world. Okay, so this is what the trail ruin structure used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. As you can see they removed all sand blocks from the trail ruin structure and they've made it look a lot cleaner and nicer. I think this is a really nice improvement. They've changed this because they've got a lot of feedback from the Minecraft community on the trail ruin structure. 1.20 is focused on community collaboration with the team and this is a big step in the right direction for Mojang. They've also added more structure variants, so you can now find more different kinds of trail room structures. As you can see here, there is almost no gravel and almost everything is sand. In the new one, you can see that there is a lot of gravel and some dirt, but the gravel is just so much denser in this version. They've split the loot tables for suspicious gravel within the structure. There's now a dedicated loot table for rare loot items. The example given is pottery shards and smithing templates. And there's now a dedicated loot table for more common loot drops, like tinted glass panes, the tools and candles, etc. That's it for this week's snapshot. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications if you want to be notified whenever a new snapshot drops. Leave a like if you like this video and leave a comment on when you think the Minecraft 1.20 update will drop. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.